you now. We're actually on 95, and it is uh, really very, very clear. Uh, you really looks like we are days from a snowstorm as opposed to just hours. But then you take a look to the right as Johnny's going to pan to the right. You can see the sheer accumulation of the snow on the side. And keep in mind, that is the breakdown lane. So there's no breakdown lane. And the other issue you're going to deal with, and you'll find out, today maybe or tonight maybe maybe tomorrow is that getting on the interstate getting off the interstate the exits are still a little bit treacherous and they sort of sneak up on you the there may be only uh, it may only be wide enough for your car to actually fit through the, the the hole in the snow so those are things that I think they are still working on and I know I heard a, a state official say earlier tonight that that they um, they also are trying to work on getting the um, the breakdown lanes but th those are minor compared to the fact that we have passable roads, very well plowed, easy to drive on, and um, good conditions so far. The other thing to keep in mind, though, is to as uh, TJ said, is that you notice the, the, uh, the asphalt is damp. It's going to get very, very slippery later tonight. There will definitely be some black ice issues. So uh, those things are something to worry about. And coming up later in this newscast, we're going to talk about a, a law, the, ba the lights that are out, the, the, um, the uh, traffic lights that are out. Keep in mind, those are now stop signs. But as we will show you, people aren't obeying that, and it could cause some problems as people try to deal with the fact that the red lights aren't turning on and the green lights aren't turning on. We'll have more on that later in this newscast. We'll send it back to you for now.